And on this Veterans Day, sports director Jim Madsen joins us with the amazing story of a local athlete who became a war hero. It's a story that takes us back over 80 years, Jim, an amazing all-American story. Indeed, the story of a local high school athlete who passed on the riches and fame of pro sports to defend our freedom, a man we honor today on Veterans Day. When the Lewistown Indians storm on the football field, they are running on to Butkovich Field, named after one of Central Illinois' greatest high school athletes ever, 1940 Lewistown grad Tony Butkovich. He led Lewistown to their only undefeated season in 1939, and then he led Lewistown to the only time Lewistown went to the state tournament uh, for basketball was in 1940, and he was the leading scorer on that team. He was a guy who could do everything. You know, he was could, he could run, he could jump, he was strong. He'd probably be one of your decathlete type people. His name deservedly is still on our football field today. Blondie Bukovic was his nickname in high school. In college, he became Touchdown Tony. After starting at the University of Illinois, Bukovic transferred to Purdue due to their Marine Officer Training Program. As a 1943 Boilermaker, the bulldozing Butkovich led the nation in rushing and scoring. Touchdown Tony had 13 scores, including four in a win over Illinois, a game in which Tony Butkovich played against his brother, the Illini's William Butkovich. The year before Purdue, they I think they only won one game, right. and then the only that year he was with Purdue was their only undefeated season in, in school history. Bukovich was named to every major All-American team and received Heisman Trophy votes. He then became a first-round NFL draft pick by Cleveland. But a pro career would be delayed as Bukovich instead enlisted in the U.S. Marines during World War II. He was probably maybe high enough profile that he probably could have maybe gotten out of, you know, dangerous combat if he, if he really wanted to. And he chose not to do that. He chose to, you know, be involved in the fighting. On April 18th, 1945, just days after his 24th birthday, United States Marine Tony Bukovich was killed at the Battle of Okinawa. He was hit by sniper fire. He was, uh, he was on the beach and was, was uh, hit and struck in the head with, uh, with a bullet by a Japanese sniper. In sports, we often use the cliche, a team's getting ready for battle. They're getting ready to go to war on Friday night. For Tony Bukovich and his generation, going to war was more than a cliche. They were trying to save the world and become much more than football heroes. You know, football is, is definitely a battle, but uh, for the most part, people, everybody makes it back. And unfortunately, Tony Butkovich did not make it back from World War II. But I think he set a great example for people in this community when he played here. You know, he, he definitely uh, took care of business when it came to uh, the real war in uh, World War II against um, the Japanese. Bukovich's name lives on throughout Fulton County, in his hometown of St. David, and at Lewistown High. His story and life is truly one of an All-American. But his death at age 24 is also a sad reminder of the harsh reality of World War II. I think Tony just kind of represents what we all lost during the war. We lost the best that we had here, and so... He is somebody that, you know, we, you know, we should be proud of and we should always remember. I think wow. as you get older, you appreciate how young 24 is and how young all those men and women who serve our country are. So on this Veterans Day, a very special uh, thank you to the military. And I know I've covered a lot of games at uh, Buckovich Field. I'll think a little differently when I walk on that field from now on. It's incredible to see how much of an impact he had at such a young age. His name, like you said, everywhere in Fulton County. Absolutely. And some great pictures that you got there of Amazing Touchdown pictures County. of Big Ten football in Purdue and Illinois. And uh, again, a, uh, a true all-American story. Thank you for bringing that to us, Jim. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it.